You are watching Places. Every Tuesday, we bring you an insightful look into fascinating events from all around the world. Today, we're looking at why rich Russian and Chinese pregnant women travel to the U.S. to give birth. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello, Aluxers, and welcome back. There's a really interesting phenomenon we've observed happening with more and more rich people, especially Chinese and Russian elites. By the end of this video, you'll understand why everybody's going on holiday in Florida, and why you might want to do the same when the time is right. Introduction the world as we know it has changed, with more people seeking the option to be citizens of the world, of free travel and access to worldwide opportunities. But securing a visa in some countries can prove to be really expensive and time-consuming. For example, securing an investor visa in the US will set you back around $500,000, and it's a very complex and troublesome process, and obtaining a visa is almost impossible if you don't have a relative who's already a citizen of the country. But what if there was a way to fast track all that paperwork and secure yourself the green card and access to free travel? That's when an interesting phenomenon called birth tourism came into play. What is birth tourism? The name is pretty self-explanatory. When you're ready to give birth, you travel to a country of interest, so the child is born on said country's soil, taking its citizenship by default. These children are called anchor babies. Their main purpose is to serve as a gateway for parents to obtain quick citizenship in the future. An important secondary reason is usually access to better health care, to better education, and in the case of China's elite, even to go around the two-child policy that's been set in place. The most popular birth tourism destinations are the United States, Canada, and more recently, Hong Kong. Europe doesn't grant unconditional birthright citizenship. France, the UK, Germany, and most other countries have modified their laws in order to discourage this type of behavior, and now require at least one of the two parents to be a citizen of their own country. Where is this happening? First of all, there is an entire industry dedicated specifically to this type of behavior. Florida is by far the most popular destination for birth tourism. For starters, the weather is lovely and everything is already waiting for you to deliver your American baby. Just north of Miami, you'll find the city of Sunny Isles Beach, population 20,000. This is the perfect place to settle into until the little one comes along. Sunny Isles Beach earned itself the nickname Little Moscow sometime around 2010, when beauty salons, Russian-themed restaurants, and supermarkets started popping up to accommodate the influx of Russian tourists who are coming over. According to the Center for Immigration Studies, this type of tourism accounts for approximately 36,000 births per year. Statistically speaking, on every flight from Moscow to Miami, there is at least one soon-to-be mother. Companies who specialize in the planning and organizing of the entire procedure are easy to find. A quick Google search renders plenty of websites who offer this type of service, most of them with the homepage in either Russian or Chinese languages as their two main demographics. Because most airline companies will not allow mothers to fly in the final months of pregnancy, you have to think of it as a prolonged vacation, because you're going to be in the country for at least a couple of months. That's why entire packages have been put in place. How much does this cost? From what we were able to find, the prices vary between a minimum of $10,000 upwards to $100,000. So what does six figures buy you? It's an all-inclusive deal. The most popular packages make sure all logistical matters are taken care of. Not only is accommodation provided, but all medical and legal counseling as well as translation assistance is insured. The most popular package costs around $30,000 and buys you three months of services. 
Depending on the level of comfort you're looking for, the sky is the limit. With packages in the six-figure range having a fleet of nannies and even luxury shopping lined up for you upon arrival. Speaking of international opportunities, videos like this one wouldn't be possible without you guys and great companies that choose to support our efforts. We're living in the most connected time in history, and the entire world can be your marketplace. It's never been easier to set up an online store. If you go to alux.com slash sell and sign up, you can have your online store up and running by the end of the day, thanks to the amazing technology Shopify has to offer. Even better, because you're a member of the Alex community, you get to try everything the platform has to offer for free for the first two weeks. If you've been waiting to start a new business and leverage the power of the internet in your favor, this is the sign you've been looking for. How is this legal? Birth tourism is legal at this point because of its fundamental ties to the 14th Amendment, which corrected an earlier Supreme Court ruling and provides citizenship to everyone born or naturalized in the U.S. Birthright citizenship was introduced into the U.S. Constitution back in 1868, when the 14th Amendment was passed, at last granting citizenship to former slaves who were born in the U.S. but denied citizenship. In 1898, they incorporated the legal concept of je soli, or right of soil, which grants citizenship to anyone born on the soil of the United States. There's been a series of discussions on the topic of birth tourism for years now, but there are always two sides of the coin. The Negative most developed countries are trying to keep the number of immigrants under control, and this technically serves as a loophole. For the Russians and the Chinese, this is almost like an insurance product. In 21 years, the newborn child will be able to sponsor citizenship to everyone in his immediate family. You can see how there's already an outrage about this technicality. Toward the end of 2018, President Trump spoke against the 14th Amendment, even calling it for it to be shut down through an executive order. He even tweeted there are grounds to reinterpret the law on specific wording. But many scholars came against the president, stating that trying to reinterpret the law would cause more harm than good and could have negative effects on travel as a whole. The Positive the good side of this coin is that most of the money is coming in and isn't taking anything away from that state, with most of these being affluent individuals who choose to spend their wealth in the U.S. economy. Even more so, any U.S. citizen is responsible to pay U.S. taxes, no matter where they live in the world, so there's a tax revenue stream coming in from people who just want to have the U.S. passport. Most parents are willing to go through this expense and then fly home with their child just to have a safety net in case the political climate worsens in the following decades so they have the option to send their children to U.S. schools and universities. This comes at a time where more and more Americans are choosing to leave the country and renounce their citizenship just to escape the big taxes the state imposes on them. Renunciation is not as easy as throwing out your passport. It's a lengthy legal process that involves paperwork, interviews, and money. Because of the increase in the number of U.S. citizens seeking renunciation, the U.S. Department of State raised the fee for renunciation from $450 to $2,350, more than 20 times the average cost in other high-income countries. The future. Social media ads for birth tourism are all over the place in targeted demographics, with many worrying that this window of opportunity might close soon. The irony is, the news of active measures against the practice have only driven the demand even more, with most agencies seeing an influx of customers. Many directors are saying Trump is good for business. 
We are seeing a rise in the level of wealth in the middle class, and more and more people are looking to relocate and take advantage of international opportunities. The problem with birth tourism is that it's a double-edged sword, and nations need to tread carefully around it. In the last 24 months, there's been a series of crackdowns on local travel agencies offering this type of service to wealthy foreigners. But apart from checking to see if everything is done by the book, they have no legal reasons to close them down. Conclusion Rich people will always look for ways to take advantage of opportunities wherever they present themselves. With the rise of technology, connectivity, and an influx of capital to other regions of the world, we're bound to see a more diverse crowd of rich individuals making all the moves they can in order to ensure a better future for their children and themselves. Citizenship always has and always will be a pay-to-win game. Question. We're really interested to know what you think about this practice. If you were in the position to take advantage of birth tourism, would you do it? How do you feel about this? We find this phenomena fascinating, and we can't wait to hear from you. As a thank you for watching this video until the end, you're getting a bonus piece of information, which we found pretty interesting while researching this story. Bonus. Oh, the irony is big with this one. The most popular hotels for birth tourism in Sunny Isles happen to be owned by the one and only vocal advocate against this type of practice, President of the United States of America, Donald J. Trump. It just so happens that the Trump Towers are the go-to luxury accommodation for Chinese and Russian travelers who are looking to enjoy themselves while waiting to give birth. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. Thank you for being an Aluxer, and we'll see you back tomorrow.